It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, many right-wing parties in the Spanish region of Andalusia won many seats in that region during the election. The Spanish Socialist Worker Party of Andalusia won about 33 seats. El Partido Popular won 36 seats. And of course, the Vox Party won 12 seats. <laughs> Upon announcement of their win, the Vox party stated the following. Vox triumph in Andalusia, 12 seats and the end of the socialist regime, the España Viva made history and demonstrated that change is possible. The Reconquista begins on Andalusian lands and will spread throughout the rest of Spain. Upon announcement of this win, many people on the left wing freaked out. Susana Diaz of the Socialist Worker Party stated, I'll ask all the constitutionalist forces to stop the extreme right in Andalusia. Pedro Sanchez, the president of Spain and a member of the Socialist Party stated, My government will be implementing a regenerator and Europeanist party for Spain. The results in Andalusia reinforce our commitment to defend the constitution and democracy in the face of fear. A democratic alliance must be made between the worker movement feminists, ecologists, and political organizations like ours to stop the reactionary wave that brings us the dark nights. When news started to spread that the Vox party won Andalusia, many Antifa members decided to protest in Spain. Additionally, it did not take long for the media in America to call the party far-right. Far-right won seats in Spanish region for the first time since Franco. Far-right party won seats in Andalusia, a first in Spain. Spain far-right Vox party gains foothold in Andalusia election. So what is this Vox party and why everybody is freaking out about it? The Vox party was founded in Spain back in 2013. The president of the group is a person named Santiago Abrasco. On the issue of radical Islam, the party has some very strong stances. Vox tiene muy claras sus propuestas para España en defensa de la libertad y por eso proponemos el cierre de las mezquitas fundamentalistas y de cualquier mezquita donde se propague el desprecio a la mujer, la yihad o el integrismo religioso. Esto queremos que en España se prohíba y se impida la erección de nuevas mezquitas promovidas por el salafismo, el wahabismo o cualquier interpretación del islam radical. Y por supuesto denunciamos que con dinero proveniente de los países del islam radical, de países donde no se respetan los más elementales derechos humanos y con una colaboración de una parte de la izquierda española que una vez más demuestra su odio y su desprecio a nuestra patria, se está atacando y se está amenazando nuestro patrimonio cultural, religioso y artístico. They also want to suspend Catalan separatist parties and make sure that Catalonia is suspended until the separatists are defeated. La España viva quiere poder defender la unidad de su patria y quiere que Cataluña, esa parte entrañable de España y que nos pertenece a todos, siga siendo España. Y quiere que se apliquen nuestras leyes, que los golpistas sean castigados, que los partidos separatistas sean ilegalizados, que los mozos de escuadra sean disueltos y que la autonomía sea suspendida de manera indefinida hasta que se restablezca el orden en toda nuestra patria. On the issue of gender equality, they're against something that is called the gender violence law. Admitís que se criminalice a la mitad de la población por su sexo con las leyes totalitarias de la ideología de género. Machistas y fachas. So what is this gender violence law that Santiago was talking about? Basically in Spain, if a woman were to falsely accuse you of rape, that man can go to jail due to that false accusation. Behind the Spanish holiday paradise and the friendly hospitality of the Spanish people, you will find a national tragedy hidden. A tragedy that is growing worse day by day. Unbalance between men 
and women. The unbalance first manifested itself in 2004 when Spain got a new government under the leadership of Jose Luis Zapatero from the Socialist Party PSOE. Jose Luis Zapatero and his government drew up a new law, gender violence law, with the aim to protect women. Hemos impulsado una buena ley para proteger a las mujeres que sufren malos tratos. Una España mejor. In practice, the result of this law is that when a woman accuses a man of domestic violence, the man is immediately declared guilty and he has to demonstrate that he is innocent. A woman only has to press the button and call the police. The police do not ask any questions or undertake any investigation. A woman shall not present any proof or evidence. Only her word is sufficient. The man goes directly to prison. After 48 hours in prison, the man appears before the court. On the topic of social issues, the party is very right-wing. For example, on the issue of abortion, they're pretty much against that idea. More recently, they were seen at a pro-life march. On the issue of bullfighting, they very much support it. Why does Fox support bullfighting? It's a cultural expression spanning five centuries. It's an art form intimately linked to Spain's identity. We defend freedom and all of its facets. In this regard, we're against those who want to limit this cultural expression and the freedom of the Spanish people. It's a source of employment and economic expression for many people, both directly and indirectly. On the issue of immigration, they're basically in favor of strong borders. Immigration. Deportation of illegal immigrants to their country of origin. Deportation of immigrants who are legally in Spanish territory, but have relapsed in the commission of minor offenses or have committed a serious crime. A review of the criminal types and the hardening of their sentences to combat the mafias of illegal immigrants. As well as those who collaborate with them, whether they're NGOs, companies, or individuals. Any immigrant who has entered into Spain will be unable for life to legalize their situation and therefore to receive any help from the administration. The effect of persecution of the mafias of street trade, not only the sellers, but also the production and distribution. Suppress the institution as a way to regulate illegal immigration revocation of fast gator race in order to acquire Spanish nationality. So is this party far right? I personally uh, don't think so. However, the reactions there remind me so much about the reactions in America. Basically, Donald Trump was called racist, sexist, misogynist, and fascist throughout the whole entire election in 2016. It's the same thing with the Vox Party. They basically are called names like sexist, misogynist, far-right, and fascist. As a matter of fact, San Diego made a speech about this subject. Que amáis a vuestra patria, fachas. Que queréis a España, fachas. Que queréis defender las fronteras de España, las paredes de vuestro hogar, xenófobos y fachas. Que os parece que la inmigración debe controlarse de alguna manera, racistas y fachas. Que os gustan las tradiciones, las fiestas populares y las procesiones de España y de su mundo rural, retrógrados y fachas. Que os fastidia que vuestros impuestos paguen 17 parlamentos y a miles de políticos inútiles y traidores, centralistas madrileños aunque seáis de La Coruña, de Lérida o vascos como yo. Y muy fachas, por cierto. Que rechazáis la ley de memoria histórica que ataca la libertad de expresión, la libertad de conciencia y la libertad de cátedra. Franquistas y fachas. Daba igual lo que pensaseis los progres y los comunistas y una parte también de esa derechita cobarde tenían un insulto, un San Benito preparado para lanzaros. Casi siempre el mismo. Fachas y mil veces fachas. En el clip, Santiago was talking about the historical memory law, 
However, what is that law exactly? According to Wikipedia, the historical memory law recognized the victims of both sides of the Spanish Civil War. It gives rights to the victims and the descents of the victims of the Civil War and subsequent dictatorship of Franco and formally condemns the Franco regime. If their belief systems are not controversial enough, they also did something that was also very controversial. On the British territory of Gibraltar, they decided to hang the Spanish flag. As far as the history of the members of the party, a lot of it is very tragic. For example, Santiago Abasco, the president of Vox, when he was much younger, his father was almost dead at least 20 times. The attempts at murder was done by a group that is known in Spain as ETA. ETA is infamous for doing various acts of terrorism in Spain and it's more recently that ETA decided to close its doors. Another example of a person that suffered in the past as part of Vox is a person named Otega Laura. In the past, Otega was kidnapped for 532 days. In conclusion, the Vox party to me at least from the outside perspective is like the Spanish version of Donald Trump. Donald Trump wants to make America great again. The Vox party want to make Spain great again. On the issue of illegal immigration and also Islam, Basically, Donald Trump is against the idea of illegal crossing our borders, and so he wants stronger border control. He also said in his campaign that he wants to destroy ISIS, as well as to make sure to have a travel ban against Muslim countries. With the Vox Party, they also want to crack down on illegal immigrants, as well as to close down the fundamentalist mosques. On the issue of abortion, Trump is very pro-life. And the same thing applies to Vox, they're also pro-life. In America, they call Donald Trump's all the names in the book, and the same is happening to Vox. Basically, the Spanish media and our media is calling the Vox party every single name in the book. On the issue of due process, basically, Betty DeVos, the person that's worked for Trump, she wants to make sure that college students have due process on those campuses. And the same thing with Vox. Basically, they want to make sure that men in Spain have due process if they have false accusations. That's what I kind of meant when I said that the Vox Party is basically the Donald Trump of Spain. What do you guys think about the Vox Party? Based upon the information I showed and translated for you guys, please tell me down below. And until next time, guys, take care.